Ladies, if you're wondering whether or not he's into you, watch the rest of this video. So I was just scrolling on Facebook and I saw a thread from this girl that she, she was saying, hey, I've been talking to this guy for like three weeks and, you know, last couple of days he hasn't responded that much. He just looked at my message and it's been a number of hours and he hasn't responded and blah, 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 blah. What do you guys think? Now, I'm a men's dating coach and every single day I deal with guys that are trying to win over the girls that are the objects of their intent. And my instruction to them as a dating coach is to reach out once per week if we haven't already heard from the girl. And in that conversation, you ought to be setting that next date. Now, if you haven't gone out with a girl already, the first contact should be a phone call. If you've already hung out with her and she's into you and this kind of thing, then we're setting dates you know, over text. But every single time there's an initiation of a new conversation, if the guy knows what he's doing and he's into you, they should be setting a date for that upcoming weekend or at least within you know, the next week or week and a half. If there's any other kind of behavior, you're looking at one of three scenarios. Number one, he doesn't know what he wants. Number two, he doesn't know how online dating works. He doesn't realize that every single time you talk, you should be organizing some kind of a get together. Or number three, he's just not that into you. Ladies, make no mistake about it. We as men, we're out there in the world trying to get what we want. If you can't feel our attention, which is a commodity, we the guys that know treat our attention like a commodity, okay? If you're not getting that commodity, the guy doesn't see you as his 10. Now, here's the danger. There are guys out there that are going to settle for something less than what they really want because they're too scared to go after what they really want. And these are the exact type of guys that you want to stay away from because, God forbid, you get married to somebody that kind of looks at you as a 7 out of 10, and he's never going to give you the attention that you really want or deserve. And you know in the back of your mind he was too scared to go after the woman that he really wanted. Instead, make sure that you can feel the intent and the attention. And if a guy's giving it to you without overdoing it, it's probably a good thing to pursue.